Hey guys, look here. Quick video to talk about affordable quench bucket options for your forge, especially when you're starting. Uh, I want to show you guys a free option and a very affordable option if you're not going to invest in the Parks 50 quench oil. Um, first, canola oil, Walmart. I found out that these little uh, 1.42 liter bucket uh, containers are a lot more affordable than buying the gallons. So you're gonna need about 12 of them or so to fill up a five gallon bucket if that's what you're going with. And that's what we're gonna do and show you guys how to quench that. But also my original quench oil used to be uh, used automotive oil. So it worked fine for simple steels like 1084, railroad spike, stuff like that. Uh, the problem is it burns and it smokes. So it's messy, you know, and but it's free. So if you have oil available, you can start with that. Uh, let me fill this bucket up and I'll show you guys how to quench in each and the results. So our five gallon bucket is filled up. That's as far as I'm gonna go with it. That's 12 bottles and to talk numbers, uh, each bottle was 48 ounces and you're gonna need 12 of them to get it to this level, which is 576 ounces uh, as opposed to 640 ounces which it would be the five gallons max to the top. So give you an idea of some numbers of how much you need to get. Let's heat up some steel and quench. Also, while we wait, one thing you want to do is you actually want to heat up your oil in many cases to a specific temperature. The steel I'm going to be quenching, you want the temperature of the oil to be about 140. So we got a thermometer. I'm going to heat up a piece of a random steel and I'm going to put in there uh, to warm up the oil. quenching and automotive oil as you see 
get a lot of black smoke and it burns a lot easier too. mention guys smaller containers will heat up faster so if you're doing a lot of quenches in one forging session oil might get too hot that's why I'm going with the five gallon bucket and if everybody was curious what this is this is actually a military sulfur's cartridge holder I cut one down in half and used it for a nice quench you can leave it full size if you don't storage of stuff like that but I got that from I think sportsman guide on sale and it worked great no, I just needed something bigger. So guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. Any comments, feedback from me or others, please comment below and share. I'll put some links below to oils that you can use and some more information, uh, as well as check out my channel also for other forging videos and other how-to videos. That's what this channel is about. Guys, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Give me subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Have a good one.